Hello friends, welcome again on the freeproject.com and this is my new project Doctor Information System and this is a micro project which I have developed in the PHP MySQL and database currently I am using the MySQL the version is MySQL 5.6 and the PHP version is 7 and you can easily set up this project in Jam server or the WAMP server and you can run this project on your Linux system as well as your Mac system so for front end part i am using the html css and javascript some of the jquery library i have used as you are seeing there is a slider so that slider is working with the jquery library and for date i am using the jquery library for validations i am using the jquery library for these things i am using the jquery libraries okay so let's start with the project functionality and description so this is a micro project very basic project and this is only the information system it's not a doctor appointment system it's not a doctor management system it's only the information system where the admin will be able to add the number of doctors and a user will be as a non-login user you will be able to see the details of the doctors that's it okay so let's start with the project so this is the home page as you are seeing uh, this is the home page of the project and after that this is the about us of the project and this is the all doctors you can see there are five doctors and this is a totally dynamic page and you can add a number of doctors from the admin panel hundred of thousand of doctors you can add and those doctors will be displayed here so this is your totally dynamic page and if you click on any of the doctor then the details of that doctor will be displayed here this is the login page and this is also a uh, and also a dynamic page and the user id and password is getting checked and verified from the database right and this is the contact us page and but this uh, the this is also a static page the data of this contact us page is not saving saving anywhere in the database so let's go with the login details so i am going on the login page and if i enter the log credentials then i will not be able to log in so for login inside the system you must know the correct user id and password so once i click on the submit then you can see that i have to redact it to the admin page and above menu has been changed right because earlier it was different and if i click on login this is different so this is a totally session driven menu so according to the session it will be changed right so this is the dashboard so these operations admin can perform admin can add the doctors admin can see the listing of the doctors admin can see the reports of the doctors also admin will be able to change his my account details as well as changing the current use current password only so this is the all about the system so let's go through the add, add doctor forms so if i click on the add doctor form then you can see this is the details of the doctors so admin will be able to add these details of the doctor and it will be saved into the database so once i click on the save then i will get the i will get this page okay so this is a data grid and you can perform a lot of operations here means you can sort the fields you can search the doctor okay and this is the runtime and very fast right so you can see at the type of uh, writing the things the uh, records are getting filtered on the runtime and if you want to edit the records then click on the edit records and that edit form will be displayed and once i click on the submit then the submit then the uh, the doctor details will be updated into the database if on if you want to delete any of the doctor just hit on the delete and the that doctor will be deleted permanently from the database and also it will not list here so earlier it was five doctor but now it's only four doctor available and once you click on the doctor details then you will be able to see the doctors this is the my account section from where admin will be able to change his details right and this is the change password from where admin can change the account password right and once i click on the logout then all the session will be destroyed and none of the internal page will be accessed right so you can change you can see the above menu has been changed and none of the internal administration page is displaying here right so this is all about the project and from this project you can learn that how can we make the database connection how can we integrate the html css javascript jquery with the 
PHP and how can we play with the code? How can we manage the data insertion, addition, and deletion and the uh, reports of the records? And how can we add the data grid inside the system? Okay, so this is all about the project. And if you want to more enhancement this project, then don't forget to put into the comments. I will incorporate those changes in my current project. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you very much.